uh, hello uh, in this video I want to show you new feature in Refire 1.67.01 and it's called uh, this new feature called remove interpretation and as you can expect it can remove interpretation between object objects so uh, here I have my geometry just to show you how it works uh, and as you can see there are a lot of interpretation like this object interpretates this this object uh, elements of this object in interpretates with itself here and there are a couple of other objects here which also interpretates so uh, now you can just select all the subjects add them into this dynamic impact list here go to layers and click here remove interpretation so it will take some time and now you can see it has uh, all the interpretations now removed. And same here. Elements as well do not interpret uh, with this bigger element. It's hard to see in this uh, example. I'll show you to this next one now. So here's my another test scene. Just to show you the difference, these are uh, several boxes, and as you can see, they interpenetrate with each other. So if I will try to simulate them now, all I get will be just an explosion. Okay. And instead of sitting and manually fixing all these uh, elements, like uh, dragging all these vertices, so there won't be any interpretation, uh, now we can simply select all the subjects, add them in this list, go to layers, and click here, remove interpretation. Also, there is this uh, gap property which uh, allows you to define a uh, gap between to interpenetrated objects, so I can set here, let's say, 0 0.5 centimeter. Um, click remove. Now I have I haven't any inter interpenetration here. So if I will simulate it now, okay. Now see it doesn't even fall. Uh, another thing I want to mention is that as you already see, it's it. Uh, removes interpretation starting from the smallest to the bigger so instead of cutting hole in this big object here it actually cuts this uh, shared area from this small box so it, uh, the bigger the box the more priority it has um, and also I want to mention there is a time it shows, shows here time uh, it took and also it uh, tells you how many missing elements there are uh, because uh, this technique uses ProBoolean, it may fail uh, sometimes, so uh, here you can see if there's something weird happened. Sometimes you may have this because just uh, another small object completely inside another object. So if I will uh, remove it now, uh, you'll see there's uh, one missing element now, because this box completely was uh, deleted, because it was completely inside another object. But sometimes you may have a weird geometry with open edges, like if I, some edge might be deleted. Uh, if I will try to fix that geometry, but uh, keep in mind that if you see here uh, missing elements, uh, you can go to manager, delete, and uh, revert back to your original objects. Okay, I guess uh, this is it. Uh, also, I want to ask you. This is just the first version of this feature, and you obviously will have. Uh, sometimes you may have a lot of missing elements. If such thing happens, please send me your object. I will investigate what's causing this uh, missing elements issue, and I will try to add proper uh, fixes in next uh, release, so it will be, will be more flexible and versatile. Uh, I guess that's it now. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope this new feature will save some of your time. Uh, goodbye.